T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. This was my previous review, but thanks to an assist again from Sony from TM Reviews, check out his channel, I'm able to review Masterverse Masters of the Universe Revelation Skeletor. Revelation is a Netflix series. Here's this. He's the evil Lord of Destruction. Here is his artwork right there. Here's the artwork on the back. And if you want to read that, pause and read it. <laughs> Here is Skeletor out of the package. And he looks good. Now, one complaint I have right out the way. I mean, I love that they gave him a soft goods kit. They did. But unfortunately, it's a cheap soft goods cape, so let me see if I can zoom in on this material. It looks like a cloth that you would wipe your car off with. And on this side, it looks like that. So, I don't know. I like that he comes with a soft goods cape because that's always easier to manage than one that's really hard plastic. Only thing could have taken it up to the next level is if it was wired, but yeah. But overall, yeah, it does look cheap. I'm, I'm not going to let it get a pass, but here he is. He looks good. I like this version of him. Oh my God, I looked up the pilot of the new Adventures of He-Man, and oh my God. <laughs> Seeing Skeletor Wolf googly eyes inside of the socket was disturbing. But let's let you get a close up on that face right there. It almost looks like you can see eyes in there because of the reflection, but it's really just black sockets. You can see that texture on there. This right here, this armor is actually a separate piece from this harness, which is a separate piece from the cape. I'm not going to be doing a breakdown of his whole armor, but you can see that you can pop that off right there. And his body, just like He-Man, has the textures on there, so you can see the pores. But then on the arms and legs, not so much. I don't know why they made that decision with these guys. But it is cool that they went the extra mile of painting his claws on pretty much all his hands, except this fist, you just get the thumb, because, no, they even paint it. Even though it's clenched, they, they did what they could to get those claws right there painted. So that's cool. And this shield holding bitch slap hand. Come on. There <laughs> we are. Here's his Havoc staff, which is nicely detailed and painted. It has like a wash on the main skull part. That's cool. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. So you do have to wedge it in a little bit to get into the end. I mean, you can force it through there, so that works. And he comes with this staff right here, which can just slide right into the hand. It's held better in this hand right there than it is this one. But I don't know the name of this one. It is. The grip isn't really tight enough for this, as you can see. But he is capable of holding it. His little loincloth right here has these like purple diamonds in them. I don't know what's up with that, but that's a running thing. This is a cover right here and it does rotate. Well, his shin halfway. Yeah, his shin does have a split in there, so it rotates, and this rotates independently of that, is what I'm trying to say. But let's get into his articulation. Pretty much the same articulation as E-Man. They can pivot a little bit on the ball, and the, the post goes forward and back. But, meh, it kind of fights you. So, that's frustrating. It's pretty much one position, so that, that definitely sucks. All of your up and down is on that ball and not the actual rocking motion but the arms can go out they can go around and of course they're going to bump into his little shoulder thing biceps level the arm still here doesn't go out straight you get that much bend all the hands rock in and out that way sideways and rotates on the pig 
diaphragm. This is the base. Back that much. For that much. Basically nothing. Tilt side to side. I feel like that might be more than He-Man. Rotating. He has that jerk back action. Which I don't know whether that's purposeful or just the shape of the ball inside. It might be angular. So it doesn't keep the pose. Rotate here. The outward split is pretty much all the way. Just like E-Man. This is what you're working with right there. Sculpted butt. The leg can kick forward. Eh, almost more than 90 degrees, but yeah. yeah. It goes up more than 90 degrees, but then it comes back down. It's bicep swivel, I mean thigh swivel. The knee bend. Pretty much all the way. That's good for a muscular leg. That is crazy good. You get that much forward, which is a ton. That much back. Pivot. And the ankles do not feel tight just like He-Man. Like, mm, forward. There, there are stopping points. But it feels a little bit looser than I would want. I have been able to get them into the pose, but... It just feels loose and I don't like it. One thing always drove me crazy about him. Why does he have four fingers and a thumb, but then three toes on his foot? But you can see they have peg holes down there. So that's good. And of course you can just pop these hands out if you want to give him a fist. I wish it came with two fists. <sighs> I think they should always give universal hand features so if you have one gripping hand you should have another gripping hand you have one fist you should have another fist but they gave him the fist and this holding or grasping hand I mean yeah I don't know if you need two of these but yeah give us universal accessories here he is next to He-Man He-Man seems to be a little bit taller that's cool that there's variation in height and they're not like all universal but it might be because of his boots, but Skeletor's feet are kind of huge. So I don't know if I could blame it on that. So it may have been intentional. But his head is also a little bit smaller because it's a skull. And let's end here with some other classic 80s cartoon toy merchandise products of evil. NECA Shredder. G.I. Joe Classified Series, Cobra Commander, Regal. Well, that's why he has the gold. And Masterpiece Megatron MP36. Anywho, uh, this is a Skeletor. He's a good action figure. I can't say he is horrible. Um, what would have taken him to the next level is some um, more paint in his outfit, like the belt and whatnot. Like some extra details but that's not absolutely necessary because people like Cobra Commander there doesn't have that and it's only 20 bucks and it's a big figure as you can see he's towering over Cobra Commander and he's a little bit bigger than NECA and NECA normally do 7 inch scale I think those turtles may be a smaller scale to be honest um Butterfly joints and all the other articulation that I mentioned in the He-Man review would have been nice. And the extra accessories. But what he does come with, like this thing and the Havoc staff and the hands that he do does come with is good. And he's really poseable. So, like I said, it's not a bad figure. Anywho, thank you for watching this. Thank you, Sony, for helping me find this guy. Or finding it for me and sending it to me. <laughs> Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos, click the fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos, click those fing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should.